Resource, as you know, is a community resource facility that was uh, started in 2007 in August Town. It's an initiative of Jamaica National Building Society, and it aims to bring uh, technology and facilities and services to inner city uh, communities. This source is the fifth source that we're doing. It's the largest source, um, so we've kind of coined it the super, uh, super source, and this is serving Russia, Seton Crescent, Barracks, Road, um, and Grotto, and you know, generally all of SAP, but those are the communities that it's directly targeting. The center is also there for people that have been displaced from the recent uh, diversification of the sugar industry, um, you know, and, and, and everybody of the community. There's no other facility like this in Savannah, Lamar, or in West Milan, so we hope that it becomes a training ground. Uh, the, the training facilities are utilized. We have uh, Jamaica for Lifelong Learning next door. Um, we have churches that want to use the center. We have all sorts of community groups and service providers that want to use the center. Um, there'll be a media library, a computer lab, um, a music studio, a crash um, for childcare. When people come to do training, there'll be childcare facilities um, and all that sort of thing. We did one in Augustown, we did one in Marvely, we did one in St. Anne with the St. Anne Chamber of Commerce, and the fourth center was in Treasure Beach. Uh, and this is the fifth one, the source in Savannah Lamar. Our partners for this center include Digicel Foundation, Sugar Transformation Unit, Citizen Security and Justice Program, and the Universal Access Fund. And of course, um, let us not forget the Wymanettes is a service club and this is really their project. They approached us and we're doing it in partnership with them. Social Development Commission has definitely come on board. They've been helping us with a lot with the community sensitization and the softer side of getting the centre up and running. We plan to open the centre in January of 2012, uh, which is in a, just over a month, and to have a grand launch uh, sometime in the beginning of February. So whenever we do uh, facilities like this, we ask for community um, buy-in. And in order to ensure that community buy-in, we make sure that the community get involved in, um, in some of the work that we need to do. So here um, today, we have the communities that we mentioned earlier, Russia, Seton Crescent, Grotto, Barracks Road, um, here helping us with the landscaping. Um, of the outside of the of the source, we have the Wymanettes here, um, and we also have the Horticultural Society of Westmoreland here. And we're all just getting stuck in trying to get um, the outside um, beautiful, so that there's lots of activities that can take place outside the centre. The partner with the JN Foundation and the Wise Men is great and we are grateful for what they are doing for us. Because we had our building and it was it needed some repairs and that and when JN Foundation came in and asked us if we could give us over the building we said yes. We're gonna help people from the Barks Road community and Charlene and Russian Park. It's a great thing for the youth in the community. Yeah. What do you think it's going to bring to the community? Well, it's a lot of things, you know. Joy, talent, crazy amount of things for the community. I hear there's going to be a recording studio. You think that the young people will utilize that facility? Yes, because enough entertainer from Barracks Road, dancers, DJ, singer, everything around there. The talent of the youth around there, especially Russia. Thanks for JN, you know. JN Foundation Source Center.